I'm Walt Bristock with Old Tavern Farms. Um, last week we did a, a virtual tour of the farm here and um, we got a lot of questions regarding the uh, sales. Um, what horses went to what sale? How do we prepare horses to the sales? What horses do we have going to which sales? So what we thought would be a good idea, we'd kind of almost do like a mini documentary here, kind of the road to the yearling sales here at Old Tavern Farms. So we're gonna give you a little bit of behind the scenes of the preparation that goes in to bringing horses to the sale. We're gonna kind of focus on these first segments with the ones going to the Fast and Tipton sale, okay, which is happening first, okay? That's gonna be on uh, September 9th and 10th. Um, so, uh, which is gonna be for us, is gonna be our Ghost Zapper Colt, um, which is uh, Alpine Sky, our Indian Charlie mare. And then it's gonna be the Hard Spun Colt, which is uh, Floripa. Which is our, uh, which is our uh, tappet mare. Okay, so any event, it, we'll just kind of follow me into the stall here, and we got uh, Greg Daly and Shannon Lee doing a little bit of grooming. So uh, maybe kind of swing over on this side over here, Nick. And um, this is the ghost zapper colt. All right, so I mean, certainly it's important that these horses have a flash. Okay. So when they when they take them out of the uh, stall at the sale, and they're going to be viewed by a potential owner, all right, we want to make sure that they look as good as possible. Okay, so even down to the point here where Shannon's kind of trimming some of the hairs, a uh, a around the ankles and the hoofs. All right, he's going to be getting his picture taken tomorrow. All right, so. Uh, Part of this kind of new world that we're in, all right, the social media part of it, meaning that, like, you know, because of some of the tra travel restrictions, what we like to do is um, we're going to take some pictures professionally done and uh, basically so people can log on to Fast and Tipton site and uh, take a look at the, uh, take a look at the horse. But uh, this guy right here, he's a, he's a very sharp looking ghost zapper colt. Um, Greg right now is doing what we call kind of a, I think a guy's, okay, what would you call this? Hurrying his coat. You want to get the oils out of the better piece of the skin to kind of work their way out of the hair and kind of let, so his hair lays flat and gets rid of all the dead hair. So we're about two weeks out um, from this set. So, you know, we've been prepping him. Okay, how long have we been prepping him? Oh, uh, just, he started at the end of June. The end of so June? We're probably about. 50 days into this. Okay. Give right. or take. All right. So after they get done grooming in here, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow these guys out. He's going to go over to the round tent um, for a little bit of a uh, exercise session. So we'll jump back in there in a second and go through that. All right. So we're going to follow Greg over to, to the round tent. Gonna give this ghost zapper colt a uh, a little bit of work out here. As I mentioned, you know he's in the fast and tipped select sales. Um, the way these a sale like that works is um, for people who might not know is uh, you can't just put your horse into that sale. Okay, you have to be selected to be in that sale. So the fast and tipped evaluators they come out a number of months ago, and what they'll do. We're kind of stuck in the road here right now. All right. So basically what they'll do is that uh, they'll send the evaluators out and uh, they'll take a look at all the stock that we have. For us, it's about 10 yearlings. And uh, they'll make a determination, you know, through pedigree and confirmation whether that horse would fit that sale. So. Uh, Guy here is uh, this guy here got uh, selected for that sale, and we thought he would actually be a good a good spot for him. All right, so mainly between the Fast and Tipton Keeneland and the Fast and Tipton October, that's going to be our farm's revenue stream for this year. So, I mean, basically. Within uh, two months, you're gonna try to generate enough revenue to sustain yourself for the whole year. So, 
you know, to say we're a little nervous this year with all the going ons with the with the virus and travel bans and stuff like that. We hope the sale's going to be good, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. So this guy is going to be uh, hip number, which uh, I had here. Can't remember what it is. What is it? I think it's 468, isn't it? All right, so he's going to be number 468 in the uh, sale. So uh, just see him come on down here. We'll put him in the pen now. I'll tell you, we don't we we basically hand walk all our horses, so we don't have a euro sizer here. Meaning, some people might know what a euro size, some might not but it's basically the automatic where you can put your horse on and, and it's like a carousel that, that, that drives them around, okay? So what we do is we hand walk and then we'll do some round pen work here. And this is what Greg's gonna be doing now with the ghost sapper. All right, so what he'll do is he'll kind of jog this guy around here. So Greg, I tell you what, how many times are you looking to go around and what are you trying to accomplish here? All right, so about five minutes in that round pen. And, um, you know, kind of, as Greg mentioned, gives them a little bit of workout, give them a little fitness, give them a little top end. And uh, now he'll get kind of cooled down a little bit. And then we'll move on to the next one. He does like his bath. Yeah, he does. Some of the others, on the other hand. Yeah, no, he enjoys his bath. He likes being done with work now. <laughs> yeah, he likes to just stand. <laughs> so after bath, we uh, will hand walk him for a little bit to cool him out, and then he'll uh, he'll stay in his stall till about six o'clock, seven o'clock at night till the sun goes down. Um, we'll feed him in there, which will give him his own special diet. So each yearling has a little bit different feed this time of year. Um, during the prepping season. So that's about it for the day. He'll hang out in the stall and uh, wait to go back outside where he can fly and graze. All right, well, thanks very much uh, for watching. As we said, um, this is gonna be a series of uh, videos over the next uh, few weeks as we lead up to our sale se season. If you have any questions, feel free maybe to direct message us and we'll see if we can get them answered in the, in the next few videos. If you find something interesting or if you find something not interesting, please give us your feedback, okay? 
As uh, you'll see, there's a lot of people involved in a farm, and, and as we like to say, it takes a village to grow a farm. Watch next time. Thank you.